Okay, let's build our app from scratch and we'll call it pi ebook underscore ebooks.py. This is to build an ebook through Python. Let's import it into SDK as the first thing. And yeah, now we're going to create a class called notepad. Or maybe ebook. Let's write nothing from for now. And now we are going to create the, the window here, the main object of our window, of our guy application. And uh, let's create an, an instance of ebook here. And let's pass the roof to, um, let's pass our window to that class. And let's put the domain loop of this window here. So here we are going to the, put the method, uh, method here with self and root. And then, first thing we are going to do is to do self dot root equal root. So that we have our window in our instance in this variable called root. And if you want to deal with it, we can do app dot root dot title, for example. We're going to call it a book maker. Let's see if it works. There it is. As you can see, we get our instance of this one and that's all and um, yeah right now we could easily um, go on and let's make something like uh, define the dimension of our window we could do it here or the dimension is we can give it through through the method geometry we get the title and uh, we can give some color to the to the main window so through the key background of the of the window itself let's make it coral and let's make a frame a frame called frame one that is atk widget belonging to the roof to that window and uh, we want to make it the color of the frame coral and then let's make it visible with the pet method and we're going to put it to the left because we want to put a menu on the left and the, and the content on the right of the items that we select on the menu. So, and we want to make it as long as the as the height of the of the window. Then we want to make a, a list box. Called STD. And it's a TK, TK inter widget called list box belonging to the main window. And uh, with a width of 30, we will see what this will do. And then self dot list box, we will pack it. We will make it visible, filling all the space in in the frame, because this does not belong to the root, but to frame one, because it's intended to stay on the on the left. It will fill all the space of the width of the height, and we'll expand with it if we expand the window. And let's give it some color. The background, I want to make it black for a sort of dark mode. And the foreground will be, will be, I think, white or yellow. Well, let's make it gold, some fancy thing, we can change it if we don't like it. Then what we are going to do is to fill it with all the, um, all the file inside the inside uh, the folder where we have our ebooks. So this is the window. This is the left frame. Let's call these widgets on the left. If you want to be more clear, we could create a, um, a method inside called left widgets with self here. And here we can do left widgets. So we know that here we have list of files in, in the folder. So this is more clear. I want to put also something to make it more visible. Define window for the app. Okay, so it is all more clear. We define the window. I think we we need to make our. Okay, let's put this thing here. We pack it now. It should be visible. Let's see what we get. We must call this self left widgets. Mm, yeah. We must correct this. So now it's a bit frame. We must call this frame one. <laughs> Okay, so we see we got our frame on the on the left, and here will be uh, we will put all the files that are in the directory, and here will be uh, put content. So let's do it. To let's create another function instead of putting things one after another so that it's more readable. So we're gonna call it insert um, files. That will be our 
our next function to insert files and maybe we want to put it here because it belongs to the to the list box for uh, we will make it for okay files will be glob dot glob in the, if you want to put all our files in the same directory or we could uh, make something more nice making a folder with data dot txt so that we make separate our python file from our txt file that will be the single chapter of our ebook in our intention so we got this to use blob we need to import it this module to see what, what in, how many txt files are into the directory and put them in a list so this will create a list of files all the txt file in our data file let's create another another folder here called data so now for filing files let's create a loop that will check all the file in files and we'll uh, we'll do insert them into this box this be with the insert method and what we're going to insert is the file at the end of each file so each file in the folder will go one after another if there if there are no mistakes it will work okay it works there are no files here because we have no files let's create one an example chapter one alex suddenly woke up in mm, and let's save it into data as let's say chapter zero one dot txt let's put a zero here because we so we can have up to 99 chapters um without problem of having after chap a chap after chapter one we could have chapter 10 if, if we don't put a zero here because the computer sees this as a string and so for the computer one and zero goes after one uh, instead of two so if you put a zero here um before the one you will have them in order at least for 99 chapter if you want to make more than 99 chapter you should call this 001 but i don't think you want to make it so many so many chapters so save it close it let's go back to our application run it and we don't see nothing let me discover why let me print print files here and it's empty because maybe we don't need this yeah okay now here it is our chapter if we click, click on it nothing happens we want to make uh, that in a, when we click it, when we select it, we see what's inside of this chapter will come here. So let's do um, a bind. We want to put it always here because it belongs to the to the menu. Let's call this menu instead of left widget. It's more understandable. Left menu. It's even more clear. And so let's um, list box dot bind. We're gonna use bind to make something happen when we do an action on the list box items. So um, we're gonna use a double angular parenthesis. L Yes, let's box select. Okay, this will, this is a listener, so the computer will wait for you to select something and do something else. So when you select with this command here, you're gonna do something. Let's create an anonymous function, self show text. Okay, makes sense. It's attached to the file. Self, self show text will be so another function. Let me just write this: insert file list file names in the list on the left. Okay, we show text. We are going to show text of selected file of selected file. And self, self list box will um, okay, we need to create something before and we need to let me do pass here because we need to have a text widget let me call it right let me call it editor for now okay right editor or just editor and it will be a a text object it's always a tinker object called text belonging to a root this time I think we don't have it yet because we we are gonna call it as we call it the self menu we're gonna call it the there is. You can see now that is here. I think we're gonna fill it for all the height of the window. Let's use also expand. Okay, now you can see it fills. I'm gonna change color. I copied and paste the, the same stuff I did for the list box change name and go. I can go in like this black and gold. Or black and white. 
or dark green. I'm right. I'm gonna change the font. To Arian twenty eight or twenty four. <clears throat> okay, we created our editor. We need now to change the text of the editor. So to show the text, we must get what what's inside the, the editor. And we got a variable number of the list well, item the item. Item number no number of number of item will be will be the code selection of the, the list box. In fact, let me point this when when we click on the current select selection. Okay, when we click on the current selection, it goes to show text. So now it should print the number of the current selection um, here on the console. Let's do if it works. There it is. So you see, it is a, it, it is a tuple. This course selection. So let's just get the first, so the zero element, the number one element that is zero. Okay. So this tell us that there is one uh, item. Let's let's uh, chapter two. He walked by. Let's put it in here. Let's call it chapter zero two. .txt for the same reason I told you. Let's close it. Let's go back here. Let's run. You see there are two chapters now. Chapter one and chapter two. The chapter one has an index of zero and chapter two has an index of one. So now we will get the name of the files that is that we can get it free with this. So we will have this. It's like a, we get the name from the, the item that we selected. Let's see if this works. It doesn't work because because I must do listbox dot get the number of the item that is selected, that is an OE number of, of item. Okay, there it is. There is a number of the item and also the folder where the item is. That is what we need to make what we have to do. So now let's insert our um, our file into the into the text. But we need to open so open text open text name file name and we can we can create another function so with with open with open f name as file file equal file dot red return file okay so this will probably read the file that we selected and let's see what we get print fn okay you can see chapter one alex suddenly woke up chapter two he walked by so it seems to work now we want to put this into the text so self text dot insert tk dot end at the end we'll insert fn sorry there it is chapter one chapter two the only thing is that it it goes um it adds to the screen. We don't want to add it to the screen. We want to just have the chapter one and chapter two, not them both together. So we need to delete okay, from start to the end. And so here it is our application to read the files that we have in uh, in our folder. The next thing that we are going to do is to be able to write in it and, and save this into this file. Because you see, if I write something here and I go here, I lose what I am writing. And this will, uh, is what we are going to do in the next video.